Look what I got. Nice chest set. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful. Let's open it up. Oh, look at those handmade craft pieces. Loving it. Great, man. Oh, man, it's gonna be awesome. Yes, um, have you guys seen the series, The Queen's Gambit? What a great series, man. Oh, it was really good. It's not a true story, by the way, but that got me thinking of when I used to play chess. And I, the last time I played chess was like about 17 years ago, man. And I stopped because things I was doing and I lost the love for it. But now I'm planning to get back to it. And ooh, especially with the little backyard I got hooked up. Oh, it's gonna be a nice way to escape the day for a while, the work and everything, great meditation. Chess, oh man, I can't wait to even do some B-rolls with this. So, good day to you and how you be everybody. Yannick goes to here and welcome to Taino Inc. Frequently, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to warp a text around a circle. One of the most used logos, you know, you left chess prints, usually a circle and the words around it, something like this. You see? Those are very, very common when it comes to screen printing. And I'm gonna go to Photoshop and show you guys the way I do it. Very simple, very easy to do, where you don't have to be using the, the arc. Because when you do the arc on the top and arc in the bottom and try to make it into a circle, it looks horrible. That's another way to do it. I'm gonna show you real quick how is it done. So, but before that, I gotta show you something. This video is sponsored by Printable. Printavo is a management cloud-based software. Printavo will help you manage orders, handle scheduling, automation, and online stores. Regardless if you are a small or a big print shop, Printavo will help you streamline your business. One thing I just put Printavo was on the test last month with so many orders. It was so easy, wifey in the house, so she didn't have to keep calling me and telling me this, check the email, and the email, you get so many emails, you go, you get lost. Here, you know what you're gonna do today, you know what artists approved, you know who accepted the quote, you know who made the payments, and what order is next, and that's one thing I like about Printavo. So if, you go, if you're interested, go to Printavo.com, and Printavo is having a 50% off the first month by just using the promo code Taino. That's a pretty good deal. So if you're interested, go to printavo.com and I want to give a big thanks to Printavo for sponsoring today's video. So let's do this. First, go to five. Open new. And what you want to do is a custom and 12 by 12. That should just give you enough so you can start working on the sign. Press OK. Once it's in, there it is. We have a 12 by 12 right there. So once you already have that, what you're looking for is to start getting a circle right in the middle and it's a perfect circle. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to view. Once you go to view, you're gonna open new guide. That new guide is gonna give you that line right in the middle. Not guessing, no nothing like that, right in the middle. So what you do vertical, you know it's a 12 by 12. So what we're gonna do is Half a 12 is six. We're gonna press six inches vertical. There goes the line. Then come back to view. Same thing, new guideline, click on it. Now you're gonna click on horizontal and you're gonna do the same thing. Horizontal is a 12 by 12, so we know it's six inches half. And now you press that and there it is. There goes your right in the middle point of the whole design. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the ellipse tool, right? You're gonna click on it and you're gonna come with your cursor and try to get right in the middle of those two lines right there. Once you click, you're gonna move down and you see, you could anywhere like this. Okay, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down to it and then you're gonna go with the shift alt and let it go. Now you have a circle right in the middle of the 12 by 12 and you know exactly where the middle is. Now that it's black, yeah, you could just come up to fill and just click on white and now you have white. Now what the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to text. 
Now you're gonna go to text. Once you come next to the circle on the top, do you see this little wavy, wavy line? Not this here, this here. This little wavy line is gonna let you know that you're just gonna start clicking and typing text right now. So we're gonna click and there goes your text. Now what you wanna do is make sure that you're gonna go with maybe a 60 just to um, get going. We're gonna do when you see a good move, right? That looks pretty good. That looks nice and straight. Well, sometimes you're gonna type and the word is smaller. Don't worry about it. All you gotta do is you move it, you shift it left or right, and you place it right in the middle. The way I know if it's completely straight is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and you're gonna drag down the new guideline. And as long as you put it in front of your font, right in front lets you know exactly that it's almost there. So how do I move that font left or right just to make sure what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go and you're gonna use the path selection tool, click on it. And once you see this little dot right there, that lets you know to move the font this way or this way here, which we're pretty good there. We are right in the center of the circle. Now the other part, that a lot of people do is that they don't know how to get that word coming from the bottom looking straight forward, not type the other way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the ellipse circle, right? The ellipse tool, I mean, and you're gonna go come back right in the middle. Once you hit that right in the middle, you're gonna come, click, and you're gonna do another circle just the same way it is. But this time, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do the shift and alt. And you see, do not let go of the click, do not let go of the shift and alt. And what you're looking for is for that circle to just go above the font. Just a little above the font. Right there is exactly where the font is. Let it go. Now, you have another layer of a circle that we're gonna work on getting that font on the bottom. So it's black again. Again, remember, go to fill, put it in white, why not? Then go to text. And what you're gonna do is, once you're ready to type, let's type now, look for a better move. There goes your other text. Now, I want that text in the bottom and I want it facing the same way the top is facing, okay? I don't want it facing down, looking upside down. I want it facing our way. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come again back over here to the path selection tool. You're gonna, once you see this little dot, you see that little dot in the back of the L? That's the dot that you wanna hold on. You wanna hold on to that dot there and now, it lets you go inside and it lets you move the font in there. Let it go. Now you have the font facing just like the arc forward, not upside down. That's how you do it. Now you wanna do the same thing with the moving the font. So what you're gonna do now that I'm moving the font, I wanna get that font nice and straight, make sure that it's perfectly there and we're gonna come and put it like right there, right there. That looks like it's even, but we don't know. So again, we're gonna go with the um, little line that comes from up here, bring it down and get it as close to the font. And that's pretty good. Oh man, just one shot. If it's not, then you gotta move left to right and you got that right there real nice. So now what you wanna do is take away the circle, there goes the circle, and there goes your beautiful warp text around a circle. Can't get better than that. So the other thing that you wanna do is probably just, so you don't see these little lines that's going on here, not the alignment was the circle line. Just come 
and delete that circle yes and delete the circle yes right now you don't see nothing like that now if I want I have this other thing that I had over here and I want to bring it over here where is a little chesting drag it down line it up as good as you want right there and there goes your logo that's how you do a perfect warp text around a logo and you're gonna get a lot of those um, a lot of clients they look for that especially businesses they want that little art and that's the way you do it very simple very easy without using the I think it's the text where you got at you know anchor whatever it is arc I mean arc that no, you don't have to do that man so that's how you do a text so if you like this video press that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe be thankful always be grateful always and just let God take you on the ride peace out